Okay, so here we are, Desmos. We're going to explore this parabola, okay? And the parabola here is in this format right here, okay? So it's in red right here. X minus 3 all squared plus 2. So we have from the origin where the vertex would normally be, if it's just a y equals x squared, we know that the translation piece here, this it means x minus 3 in here means 3 units to the right. It's going to move 3 units to the right. And then this plus 2 is going to be 3 units, 2 units up. So that's where we get this point right here. Okay? So I'm, I've duplicated this uh, parabola. Okay? I've put some, I've put some um, parameters in there. The h and the k we know about. Here's the h and the k, 3 and 2, so it's the same as this one. Um, the a value, we've actually already looked at. The a value, y equals negative of f of x. We saw that that flipped it about the x-axis. So that's what it looks like there when that value, okay? So now if I move that back to positive one, let's see what happens when I do um, multiply the x by negative one, right? Inside with the x. So if I move this b value from one to negative one, look what happens. Okay? So it's kind of cool how that did that. but. That's what happens when it's a negative one. So as we can see, it's rotated or, or reflected this way about the y-axis. So all of these, so watch this, this was 3, 2. So that means the x values will be negative. So watch this one. Negative 3, 2. You see? What's this value up here? 5.8 and 10. This one is negative 5.8 and 10. Okay? This one is an invariant point. It's the same on both, 0 and 11. Okay? All right, so um, let me just change this. Let's go from negative 1 to positive 1. And let's play that. So let's see, this is what happens. So that's original graph going to negative 1 there. Okay. So you can kind of see as this B value gets closer to 0, this starts to stretch out, right? It starts to stretch out, which we're going to talk about this um, in the next half of 1.2. Okay, so this is going to be a, a horizontal stretch, you see, as it gets closer to zero, it's stretching it out horizontally. See? So there's a there's a stretch and then if I move this to maybe seven. Okay. Then you can kind of see that as it gets as it gets uh, to one is the same and then as it gets greater than one it compresses it in. See that? It squishes it in. But that's coming in the next half of this section. Okay. So negative one here we go okay got that so again this is a reflection about the y-axis this is a reflection about the x-axis and you can kind of see um, how those compare okay so for part one all right that's the that's the lesson for part one and uh, you guys can go ahead and work on some questions on that and here's what happens to that uh, parabola when both of those parameters are moving at the same time <laughs> cool. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's awesome. I can kind of sit and stare at that for a very long time, actually. <laughs>